My name's Glenn Bogue. I've been a lawyer. I've been a nutritional historian. I've been an Olympian and a construction consultant. I'm running for mayor because the main issues for Toronto are not the subway and are not the island airport issues. Those are symptoms of a much bigger problem. The real problem facing Toronto and Ontario is the debt. Currently sitting at $270 billion, which shocked me, it is twice the amount of California and they have three times the people to pay it back. So our debt is out of control and no one wants to address the issue. The first three things I would change is I would introduce the city charter concept. Edmonton and Calgary have done this and are through their process renegotiating a different legislative situation with both the province and the federal government. A city charter is different in that it is an independent legislat legislative um, regulatory system so we can control our regulations. As a contractor in Toronto, it is just a bureaucratic nightmare to get anything done. And that is the first thing that I would change in the city government. The second thing I would address is banking. <clears throat> the fractional reserve system of a central banking system, which is in Canada and the United States, is a system that just balloons the debt. If you put $1,000 into the bank, the bank can lend out up to, up to $20,000, creating $19,000 starting a balloon. And the people who pay for that are the people of Toronto, 95% of whom do not participate in a banking system. Under my proposal, we will have a new Toronto bank for the people. The third issue <clears throat> is health care, because health information is just not available. As I said at the start, I'm a nutritional historian, and I'm extremely knowledgeable in holistic health care principles. This goes as far as our seniors who are going to double in the next 20 years, that sector of our society. But 60% of people from 45 to 65 are overweight or obese. And we all know as the waistlines go out, the health care costs go up. And that cost is going to eat us alive. We also have issues with our schooling and our office structures. I can't control the teacher quality or the business manager's quality in Toronto, but I can have input in the buildings that we are housing our children in. We need better nutritional information. We need full spectrum lighting, which has now been available for 30 years, that under which, under which um, learning disorders largely disappear in as little as 90 days. The third issue is, of course, air quality in our buildings, our schools, our office towers, and our residences. And there <clears throat> are several ways to improve um, air quality in buildings uh, that I'll be addressing during my campaign. So those are my three uh, main issues, debt, uh, health care, and the quality of the environment that we're all living in. I see nobody so far talking about a city charter. I am a lawyer and I can guide this process well from the helm of Toronto. Uh, but Toronto has a terrible habit of giving its power and its money away to other entities. The dog in this country is Toronto and Queen's Park and Ottawa are the tail and it's time for the dog to take its right, rightful place and begin the process of city charter where Toronto is independently making its own rules and the money that's earned in Toronto stays in Toronto. Secondly, on health care, I talk to many, many women in Toronto. The men, it's difficult to talk about uh, health care issues, but women are more aware, they are the mothers, they feed the children and as a general rule. And I ask them, what is the number one nutri nutrient for the human body. And I haven't got one right answer yet. For the viewers out there today, the number one nutrient for the human body is omega-3 oils found in flax seeds.